Hi, Prosperity Team, it's Dr. Money coming to you from the prosperity corner of the universe where silliness is sacred and nobody's perfect. I am your P.O.P., your Professor of Prosperity, and I'm here so that all of our lives can pop with prosperity. When I think of being prosperous and really the road to prosperity, I first think about internal events, not external events, because prosperity really requires that we change our insides, not our outsides. We all know that when the insides change, the outsides change as well. So what are some of the holdbacks that we have in our minds that keep us from moving into the prosperous moment. One of those obstacles is the belief that we're too old, that we're aging, that we're not relevant anymore, that we just don't have it. Certainly I have those thoughts. And so what is an affirmation or our thought that could help us move back into this abundant moment? Because you know, the abundance and prosperity are ageless. <laughs> I mean, you, 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 you can be relevant and experience prosperity and wise at 99 and at 11. So our the thought is, actually I'm becoming wiser sharper and my ideas are exceedingly relevant in today's world one more time actually i'm getting wiser sharper and my ideas are exceedingly relevant in today's world so that's what affirmations are about they're about taking what the content of our mind is that's blocking our good and replacing it with a new idea of thought, a new thought, a new idea of thought. Now, the reason that we repeat affirmations or we hold them in mind is because we're wanting to replace the ones that have been there for a long time. And sometimes it does take quite a while to change the thoughts into something that is powerful and helpful and good in today's life. And that's why we use affirmations. They're little gifts affirmations are little word gifts that we give our mind so that when they're opened up, they give us a great present and presence in life. So let's take a deep breath. And as we breathe in, we breathe in our good. And as we exhale, we exhale our intention that all other beings receive their good as well. Let's do it one more time. Inhale and exhale. This is Dr. Money, and I want you to remember one more thing for sure, and that is our burdens are lifted, our cares are few, our joy is unlimited, and I love you. <laughs>